Hey guys. Hi. Hey guys. What do I say? I don't know. Why am I being so awkward? <laughs> Hi guys. Uh, my name's... Oh. Hi guys. My name is Sam and I am coming to you with a new video. Um, some commonly googled questions about being blind or blindness. So I just wanted to put it out there that uh, people like Molly Burke and BuzzFeed Video also did uh, commonly asked or commonly Google questions about blindness. So be sure to go check those out. I will link them below. So let's get into it. Question number one is what should you not say to a blind person? Number one thing I would say is how many fingers am I holding up? Can you see how many fingers I'm holding up? Are you really blind? All right, question number two. What is legal blindness? In the US, legal blindness means that by law, you are considered blind. That means that your visual acuity is such that you go beyond the threshold of actual blindness. Not all people who are legally blind are completely blind. A lot of people like myself are legally blind and still have some usable vision. The visual acuity threshold for being considered legally blind is 20 over 2400. That means what someone with typical vision can see from 2400 feet away, I would need to be 20 feet away in order to see it. Does that make sense? Okay, so question number three, this was asked in a few different ways, but basically, do people who are blind have a heightened sense of hearing or have heightened senses other than vision? And the answer to that is yes and no. We don't have stronger senses. We're not born with stronger senses just because I have a dog with me, so you might see his head pop in the video. Um, but just because we are born with vision loss does not mean that we are also born with better hearing or a sense of touch or a uh, sense of smell, things like that. But because we are not relying on our vision, our brain kind of has more room to rely on other senses and so we learn to rely on things like our hearing, sense of smell, and like our sense of touch to navigate the world. Our other senses are a bit stronger. That's because we're kind of training ourselves to act that way and rely on those senses more. Question number four, how do people who are blind get around safely? This answer might be different for every person with low vision. For me, I get around safely by using a guide dog who is trying to make his way into the video right here. Some blind people use a cane to get around safely and others rely solely on their other senses like their hearing. But almost every young person or newly diagnosed person who has learned that they're going to lose some sight goes through what is called orientation and mobility training and that is basically a type of training where someone will help you learn how to safely navigate your environment without using sight and so when I was little I had an orientation and mobility instructor who would come help me learn my school my neighborhood how to cross the street safely how to use a cane things like that and yeah you'll basically kind of check in with that person every so often to uh, keep up with your orientation and mobility skills so if you're moving to a new school, a new job, new town, things like that, you can always learn how to navigate that new space safely through the use of an orientation and mobility specialist or O&M specialist. Question number five is a good one. Uh, apparently this is a commonly Googled question, which is pretty cool. Should I offer to help a person who is blind? Uh, I think this answer is going to be different for every person who's living with vision loss. But for me, I would say, yeah, please offer to help. Um, it doesn't mean I'm going to take you up on that offer. It doesn't mean that I will need your help. But it's always awesome to know that people are willing to lend a helping hand if I do need your help. But one important note I will make is to never just try starting to assist a person who is blind or visually impaired without letting them know that you're going to do so and in general just don't do it without asking because we do like our independence just like everyone else and we don't always need help always better to ask but yeah that's awesome that you're whoever googled that question a bunch of times that you're uh, thinking about um, how to best help someone so 
Question number six, I can't believe this is actually Googled. Oh my gosh. Question number six is, is it okay to pet a guide dog? The answer is a big fat no. <laughs> Never pet a guide dog, uh, especially without the permission of the handler. Um, some guide dog handlers may let their dog be pet in public or in private settings. Others have different ways of going about it. For me, if my dog is at home and just acting as a pet, I don't care if anyone pets him. But out in public, I do not let people pet my guide dog because he is my eyes. He helps me navigate my environment safely and so I need him to be constantly focused on me and on uh, the task ahead of us. So please never, ever, ever, ever pet a guide dog, especially without asking. Next question is, do blind people blink? I do. <laughs> I think most blind people blink. Um, I know sometimes you might see people who don't have any sight and may not have their eyes fully open or focused. Um, they might walk around with their eyes closed because that's more comfortable for them. But I think in general, yes, blind people do blink. All right, next question. Do blind people dream? So this is another one of those answers that will probably be different for everyone. I do dream. I dream, I would think, in the same amount of sight that I see on a daily basis because I don't really know anything different. My brain doesn't know anything different. I've heard from people who are completely blind, have no vision whatsoever, that they uh, will either dream in just audio or they'll dream in some colors and shapes and shadows and things like that, but not necessarily a full scene like you might dream. Um, but yes, blind people do dream just a little bit differently probably than everyone else. Okay, so this next question is probably the most common one I've seen. It's, do blind people see black? And the answer is no. Blindness is a spectrum all the way from very good amount of usable vision to complete darkness. It is a very small percentage of people who are visually impaired or blind that see complete darkness. People generally have usable vision like myself. I have tunnel vision in one eye and I have no vision in this eye, but I can still see what I would call a decent amount. There are people that can only see light and shadow. There are people who can read regular print and are still considered legally blind as a whole spectrum, but a majority of us, yes, have some useful vision or at least see light and shadow. The next most common Google question about blindness is do blind people cry? My eyes are tearing right now actually, so I'm gonna say yeah, uh, most blind people, if not all, cry unless you have some sort of dry eye disorder. Not being able to see doesn't really affect your tear ducts. Maybe that's different for someone who has had their eyes removed, I'm not really sure. But I think the majority of people who are blind still cry. question is, who is the most famous blind person? I'm going to just go ahead and say Helen Geller. I think she's probably, throughout history, the most famous blind person. She was deaf as well as blind, and she's just known for really breaking boundaries in the blind and deafblind community. As far as modern day era, I would say the most famous blind person right now is probably someone like Stevie Wonder. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with him. But there are some, there are some pretty famous blind people out there. Look them up. The next question is kind of a funny one, but I get it. It's what do people's eyes look like when they're blind? Can you see mine? Mine look pretty typical. Sometimes my left eye turns in just because the muscle is not strong enough to keep it focused because I don't have usable vision over here. But generally, people who are blind have the same kind of eyes as anyone else. Sometimes you'll see if they have cataracts, their eyes will be cloudy or have kind of a white shade over them. Sometimes you might see the whites of their eyes or their eyes might turn in or out or generally not focus. But uh, I think, yeah, generally, People who are blind have the same kind of eyes as anyone else. 
Alright guys, that was a short video, but that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed learning about some of the commonly Googled questions about blindness, and hopefully I could uh, help you learn something new today. Um, let me know if there are any other topics you want me to do these type of Q&A videos on, uh, or if you have any specific questions you want me to answer in a future video. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you soon.